Today we're highlighting women in construction. So we have a panel of six uh, amazing professionals who have decided to join us. And what you'll notice is, is we do have a, a male. <laughs> uh, uh, so, and, and what we think is this is really cool because uh, we also, when we did uh, physician's assistant, we had some males who actually came to our uh, class and actually sat in and, and asked questions. So we, we are about empowering women. That is the mission. Uh, but we don't discriminate, and if uh, you know men would like to help us in that journey, we, we absolutely think that we are better uh, as a community when we all work together. My name is Kelly Mitchell. I'm a senior estimator at Hensel Phelps Construction Company. We are a nationwide commercial contractor. Um, we do about $4 billion worth of business a year. It is just an absolutely wonderful, wonderful business to be in. It has been hard. And I have to thank all of my professors who prepared me because they said, we need women in this industry, but this industry is not prepared for women. And um, they let me know how hard it was going to be. So when I came out of school, I knew not to be the know-it-all college kid. I knew to, to listen and to speak only when I knew all the facts, um, which has prepared me well through my career. Um, it's... It's, a, it's still challenging. There's still people out there that don't think women belong in this industry. Um, it's staying calm, like Kent said, staying calm, level head, no screamers. Um, you get a lot of respect once you prove you know what you're talking about. So continuing education, LEED certification, DBIA certification, any additional education you can go, keep improving yourself because every piece of knowledge you have it just it flows out to everybody else in how you present yourself and um, you gain so much respect from the community by knowing what you're talking about and not faking it um, if you're passionate about it it comes easy it was kind of weird because there was, there was only two girls in, my, in the class and there were all guys basically they were all top dogs, they thought they knew everything. Eventually, me and my friend, we kind of went there and showed the guys off. <laughs> and it's not because, it, I mean, it doesn't mean you can't do it just because you don't have body mass or you can't lift certain things. You know, you still have the brains for it as long as you know how to do things. I mean, you can just have your little like carriers, you know, carry this, put it there. <laughs> no, you don't know how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. You just do it. Uh, my name's Rachel Delino, and I am a project engineer at JE Dunn Construction. I also teach uh, building construction technology at ACC. I teach construction management one, two, three. Um, I've taught building codes and uh, project scheduling. The program used to be more based on residential construction, and we're, we're getting away from that. We're adding, we're not leaving the residential, we're continuing to do residential as well, but we're also trying to focus on commercial. So like our management classes, the management one class is residential, and management two and three are commercial. Um, so we're trying to focus on that as well, so that everybody kind of, depending on what kind of career they want, they're gonna get enough experience to get an entry level position and be able to be successful. We're trying to really focus more on technology, um, green building. We've, we've got one green building class right now, and they're probably going to add another one that's a lead prep class. Uh, actually, I'm probably going to teach it. And then also we're looking into like computer technologies that are emerging in the industry, such as BIM and things like that. We, we discussed that. Um, we don't have a class for that yet, but uh, that may be something that we do in the future. And so. My name's Laura Cullen. I own Austin Lumber Company. I also own AustinGreenBuild.com. is a website designed to focus in within the construction industry. Um, the Green Build, that's where we're going. And before, when we were thinking about construction, you're thinking just the person out there with a the hammer and saws or your father or somebody, a bricklayer. You have now the safety director. You have project managers. You have the CAD drafting. You have internships. It opened up a whole new world to me. You never know what way life's going to treat you and what career path you're going to go. 
So in this video, I guess, and try to teach you, you never know. Take a little bit of every day. See what, you know, aspects come to you. So if you don't think you like construction, you don't think you're going to be good at it, you, there's so many facets that you can go and get a little taste of it. The mentoring, the association that we do um, is above and beyond. Every woman that you will see on a construction site, she is there as a leader, as somebody that will talk to you, that will mentor you and tell them their path. Every one of us that have been speaking today, you will see we all have a passion for it. How many people that you go to another industry can say they have a passion for what they do? You can have a third grade education and in construction, if you're good at what you do and you believe in what you do, you can actually own your own company. Or you can have a six-year education, college education, degrees, and own your own company. And those two people can sit in a room just like this and talk one-to-one -one on each other and know what they're talking about. There's, I don't think there's any other industry or any other field that you can do that. Um, and that's what makes our construction industry so unique. That it's not the same old thing it used to be. Um, I have now, because of the way our industry has gone, is I'm doing work in oil field. I've been doing, going down to oils and to the oil field, and that's really popular right now. There are no women down there. I'm the only woman right there, and I saw a need that we need the safety instructors. Um, right now, I have started to take my safety instructor courses, and so I'm, my training is going to be oil field safety. That's something, even though here I was in construction and a shy girl 20-something years ago, now my path, even with owning Austin Lumber and what I do, is I'm going into something else. So it shows you, you can never quit learning, and you can always change your path, but you're still on the same, you're still on the same road, but, you know, there's different forks in it. One thing, I've been this, in this industry for over 40 years. I graduated from school in 1970. Went to the Army, came back. <clears throat> I've been in some farm piece of it my whole life. I've been in blessed so richly to work for some great companies when I was younger, uh, to go out on my own in 79 and almost fail, scared me to death. It took me about four years to claw my way out of it, but it was a great learning experience. How do we get better? So on our side, we have an incredible blog that we are trying to preach safety, just basic common things, get up and go to work in the morning, you know? So I think our goal in life, not just in what we're, what we're doing in this industry, is there are no barriers. You can do whatever you want to do. Women, we need more women in the skill sets and the mentality that you bring to this industry. Expand your skill sets uh, to look at other things you might do if you feel like you're in a box and you can't move to that next level. What are parallel? We've helped a lot of people get from construction into uh, to, uh, industries like insurance adjusting. You just move sideways, and you'd be amazed at the amount of money that's out there for commercial CAT adjusters and, and different fields that they can go into, and it's just a side step. Uh, I'm Shelly Runyon. I'm owner and president of Titus Industrial Group, which is Titus Electrical Contracting and Titus Systems. Titus Electrical is a commercial industrial electrical contractor that specializes in high-rises, universities, data centers, other commercial buildings. And Titus Systems is a commercial data fiber contractor. Systems has a variety of con contracts with um, public entities that you know, and we have a new construction division. Decades ago, women in construction, anybody brave enough to be outside of the admin field, thought they had to be one of the guys. That's not the case anymore. The industry is more diverse these days. You do have to be tough, determined, hardworking, and good at what you do. In, that mind, in my mind, that's what women do who are good in any field. The biggest challenge in construction is the same one every woman has. How do you balance career and family? It sounds cliche, but it's true. My solution has been to build an incredible team from estimating to project management to accounting to the field. They have depth, ability, knowledge, and experience so they don't depend solely on me to get a job done. Being surrounded by a fabulous team offers you opportunities you wouldn't otherwise have. But overall, the industry has changed in dramatic ways over the last three decades. Contractors and subcontractors are partnering. Offices and companies work together as a team. We're also creating environments that work with people's strengths 
It's we're taking things outside of the box to ensure that all aspects of an assignment or of a task are handled well. Instead of saying, that's in Bill's box, he's got to do it. Well, Bill doesn't do it well, so we're going to think of another way of doing it. Being out of the office is no longer an excuse for not getting a message or not getting something done. The days of slow, gradual adaptation are gone. You have to be on your toes. You have to constantly learn to adapt. Anyone that thinks building hasn't changed hasn't looked around. It's an exciting and expanding field. What is my advice for getting, if a woman's coming into construction, ask yourself a lot of questions. Start with what aspect interests you. Is it the physical installation? I've got ladies who are amazing technicians, who are leaders because of their abilities, not for any other thing that they've gone out and proven themselves. So you can do the physical part of it. But there's also pre-construction planning. This is important area is really growing. It represents cutting edge technologies and construction. Starts with using BIM, building information management and other design tools. It allows your, your project to be planned in a virtual mode and make huge progress work the project more efficiently, shorter schedule, less waste, more quality control. Those tools, you can take them into fabrication, you can take them into class de clash detection with MEP systems. Using the tools that are out there is a great opportunity. And something that's fairly new, that's been old, but is actually being looked at now, is construction safety. For a long time, it was just lip service that we actually cared about how people were being treated, how safe the job sites were. I've got a full-time safety director. Construction offers opportunities, professionals, administrative roles from human resources, project engineering, legal, project management, all functions in between. My question to you is, what intrigues you? What are your strengths? There's so many facets to construction. There's probably a match. Just be creative in your thinking. Construction's fascinating, rewarding. There's no feeling quite like looking at the building and saying, I helped build that. Don't let a woman, being a woman, keep you out of indi any industry, especially not construction. It's a fabulous place to be, and I think it's the right time.